Staging is to let us know kind of how the breast cancer presents, um, how important it is to start treatment up front, or if we can go to surgery up front. Most staging really revolves around the size of the tumor in the breast and lymph node involvement, primarily in the axillary nodes, which are the armpit nodes, and whether the cancer has spread anywhere else in the body. And in stage zero breast cancer, there are cancer cells, but they are confined to the, the duct, the milk duct of the breast, and they have not extended further into the breast. Stage one is when a tumor is smaller than two centimeters and maintained within the breast tissue. Stage 2A is when cancer has spread to the lymph nodes under the arm, which we call the axilla, and tumor maintains less than two centimeters. Stage 2B breast cancer is when the tumor within the breast is between two and five centimeters, but the lymph nodes under the arm are also positive. Or the tumor itself is larger than five centimeters, but the lymph nodes are negative. Stage 3A is a tumor of any size with cancer spread to the lymph nodes under the arm, or tumor is greater than five centimeters with spread to the lymph nodes as well. Stage 3B is when a tumor can be any size and it's grown into the chest wall, the skin, or breast or lymph nodes under the arm. Stage 3C breast cancer is a tumor of any size that has spread into the lymph nodes under the arm as well as behind the breastbone or near the collarbone. Stage 4 breast cancer is cancer that has spread to other organs in the body beyond the breast and the lymph nodes. We're usually a lot more simpler when we go into staging on our first consultation. Um, we simplify it by looking at an early stage breast cancer smaller than two centimeters, something that's in the middle two to five centimeters, maybe the nodes are positive, and then a larger tumor above five centimeters with nodes that are positive or not. So we simplify it and then all the intricacies we talk about as time goes on.